Okay. So, Minog. So, as we mentioned, um, halacha in general, when people are trying to figure out halacha, it's built on three main. Uh, at this point, you should memorize this by the end of the year or already know it by the right? Three factors analysis of the sugya, precedent, and, mis- and minhag in all its manifestations. Problem with minhag is that it is very hard to define what we mean by minhag. And over the years, I've given many, many, many shurim on minhag, each time trying to figure out a different aspect of it. But at some point last year, just like you guys, my guys in my, my chevra in Toronto was asking me, okay, well, what, right, to sort of give a summary. So I created this executive summary of, of, uh, of minhag in Kol HaTorah Kula. Um, so, so, what do we, so what do we even mean when we say minhag? Because we mean very different things at different places, um, and they are, <coughs> are different nafkaminas uh, to that. Um, so, um, before I go into these, right, what do I mean by minhag? I mean, you can, like, cheat and read my headlines, but, but you know, by my headers. But what, what, do you, what do you think when you think minhag? minhag. What is it, minhag? Communal practice. The tradition, great. What, why is it important? What types of minhagam are there? Minhagamakom. 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 Okay. So minhagamakom. Okay. Let, let, let's wait. Minagamakom is the classic minag in the Gemara. When the Gemara has a parak devoted to minhagim, makom shenagu, the fourth parak of Psachim, it is devoted to minag hamakom. Okay? I gave you just the summary of that number one here in Shulchan Aruch. Right? You, it, it is the topic of the entire fourth parak of Psachim. But, right? Haholech mi makom sheosin lo makom she ain osin lo yasa bi yishuv vidnei hamachloket. Right? If you move from a place that has a minhag to do something to a place where they don't, so don't do it in public because it'll cause machloket. I will osa hum bamidbar. But if you're in the desert, that's fine. Right? You're in the desert between them. That's great. There's a big nafkamina to this. La halacha is that the biggest nafkamina everyone gets wrong, and I can rant about it now. If this ever relevant for you, know this is the halacha. Um, you know there's a big machlokas about keeping one day, two days, one and a half in if you're a ben chutzlar in Eretz Israel. What you probably didn't know is that what, every, that what most Israelis do when they come to America is just wrong. Because in Shulchan Aruch, and 99% of posts came across the spectrum, Haredi, Dati Lumi, American modern orthodox, really doesn't matter, follow Shulchan Aruch on this, say that if you're an Israeli in America, you are not allowed to do malacha, even b'chad rechadarim. Right? Because it's a din of makom she nagu. You are yote from a makom where it's mutter, and you're nichnas to a makom where it is aser, and therefore you are not allowed to do malacha even in private. That is the halacha. You are allowed to do it by midbar, which postkim say is the airport. I don't understand why exactly, but because the airport, no one lives there, so it's considered a makom she ain't Israel, and then you only have to worry about maris ayin, so you can't do it in public, but if no one sees you or you don't look Jewish, so then maybe you can do it or something like that. So part of <coughs> what people rely on is the Taz, right? The Taz, uh-huh. <coughs> the one who said Smar Zion. The exception is, as as Mati knows, the standard Chabad Psak is actually keep two days because you keep whatever you right. You keep whatever you are, right? Wherever you are, no? Isn't that standard oh, no, Chabad? Going to, it, it's both ways. I'm pretty sure it's both ways. You actually keep two days. Fine. Um, but how the Taz here suddenly became the major... Right, posting that everyone relies on. I don't really know. They don't realize they're relying on the Taz. They don't realize it's a machlokes and the Taz in the minority. Um, just know that for three years when I was in Toronto, I tortured myself and kept all Eastern Malacha, even in private. So I put my money where my mouth is and that is based on this and Makam Shinagu. That also means, parenthetically, that if you want as full a discussion as you will ever get on Makam Shinagu and Dini Makam Hayat Shiatu Misham, if you look in Yom Tov Sheni Kehel Chasa, he has like 150 pages on this because otherwise, what are you doing if you write a book on Yom Tov Sheni? Um, so, so, I don't, whatever. <laughs> I have a thing with these books. They drive me nuts. It's actually not a bad book. The particular topic books? No, some of them are good. Shmira Shabbos Kehel Chasa makes sense. It's, it's Shmira Shabbos. There's a lot of halachos. The thousand page Otsar Hakipa, two volumes on Hilchot Kipa makes no sense. No offense to the guy who wrote it. Right? I apparently he's a big Tamil Chacham, but like why? Why? And then my favorite, my favorite, my Chabrusa and I once looked how many we could find. I don't yeah, know. Honey, my favorite was La Hachsir Atora Liyoshna Beinyan Hagbahas Hatora Kihilkasa. Wait, what's Hagba? Hagba! Hagba! The whole book! What? Not the point. Anyways, 
Isn't keeper minhat? How are they? No, not that keeper. What? Oh, what yes, that, that keeper. keeper. No, 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 this no, no, keeper. No, 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 this no, no, minhag no, no, thing. No, 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 yes, no, 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 Rabbi Vadya already summarized everything you need to know in a two-page tshuva in a chelik dalit tshuva alf v'chava dot. You don't need more than that. Anyway, that's even crazy. Anyways. The minag is that you keep the, the chumros of the place you left and the place you come to. But you should still avoid <coughs> looking like you're out of place. Um, the particular minag he's talking about is working in our Pesach. Because um, you don't want to look like you are changing from everybody else, and then Shohar clarifies that this is only someone who never, who never, uh, who intends on returning. Right? If you move, then you take on new minhagim. Okay, fine. That's classic minhag in halacha, right? And usually, it's talking about things which are what, right? What's what, what's the case of minhag? Chumah. Yeah, it's it, let's say halachically sanctioned chumros, right? Like not like stam chumros. Like, there are different practices. There are, there are a more machmir practice. It's not usr. No one says it's usr, right? It's not a machlokas. It's there are different practices, right? This makam shenagu, right? It's not a machlokas per se, right? It's necessarily, right? There are different practices, right? And a makam keep one makam keeps the one thing, and the other makam, right? For example, right? The the din of makam shenagu applies even by, as I just said, by yom Shani. right? That's not a machlokas in psak. Right? If you're a Ben Eretz Yisrael, the halacha is to keep one day. If you're a Ben Chutzlar, the halacha is to keep two days. That's a halacha, right? yes, or at least. For, for an Israeli, it's, it's awesome. Correct, but, it's, right, we're not, but we're not necessarily like talking you, about... Like right, we're not yet talking about... Israel, right, what are we not talking about here? We're not talking about... What this case proves. We're not talking about there's a machlokas, and we hold this way, and you hold that way. Not necessarily. Right? Makom can also... Makom Shinagu can also be talking about minhagim that we have that are not a machlokas and psak. It's just what we do here. Like the, right? Not, right, it can be. Not about even, and it would even extend to... Right, right, right. But, 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 at all. Right. They just don't do it. Correct, right? Meaning it can be... Who comes but, up with these minhag? I mean, so, any community that originated ah, in minhag? So, so what are the... Now, what counts as a... So, we'll get to it, right? So there's two questions you have to ask by minhag, right? One is, who keeps it, right? Like, what community is giving it its gravitas, right? The other is, Right, what types of minhagim, even within that framework, are legitimate? Right. So right now we're talking about legitimate minhagim. Right. We'll get to what is not a legitimate minhag, but legitimate minhagim. So the classic cl- category is minhagim. Now, as I mentioned, and this is something we can get to, but this is not in my skira. But I'll, you know, I mean, I put it in parentheses here. The question, the one of the biggest questions in modern psak, which I mentioned several times, is that the chumro these force c- traditionally given in psak to minag hamakom now people have sort of replaced with minag eda right ashkenazi svardi right things like that or minag mishpacha right how we get from minag hamakom to minag eda minag mishpacha is not clear it's very very unclear um, how that happens. Why does it to be a transition of different things that were brought down? Because the Gemara never discusses that, and the one sugya that discusses Minag Mishpacha says it's not a thing. Mm-hmm. Yes, the one Gemara that discusses it says this is not a thing. So. Right? The Gemara in Chulin brings the case of a father at a Chumrah, and, and the son says, Ani, right, Ani, Chala Bar Chamra, right, I am vinegar the son of wine, because my father kept this Chumrah, and I don't. Oh. Right now, you can you can get out of it and say that was because it wasn't accepted as a minig on the family. But the simple pshat is that the Gemara never sanctions minag mishpacha. Period. End of story. Why is it one of the four things in the world Torah? Minhag, but what is minhag? Right. So. It's a it's a derabanan to follow minhag makom. What's the source? So what is the source of it? So this is also part of the problem. What? So. Mati is very insistent, according to Chab Sofer, who has this, who came up with this fascinating argument that minag is even more machmer than some daraisas because minag is midin neder, and therefore it's a ne- it's balyachel daraisa, and therefore violating a minag, even though the minag is more makel, it's balyachel daraisa. The problem is it's against the Gemara. It's against the Gemara, as the later Achronim all point out. Right? The Gemara says explicitly this doesn't seem to be true. You have to like do it. Mental I gymnastics. What? I got it from Rashi. Oh, everyone quotes the Chassam Sofer. You have to quote it. The the question is, is he right? 
right? Meaning, and the question, no, two questions. One is, is he right? Second of all, is he, did he b'chal mean it? Right? Because the Chalam Zorba has a different tshuva where he says it's a mitzvah to present every minhag as machmer as you can possibly construe it in fighting the reform, right? Like, we should try... So, did he mean it or was it partially polemical? Not totally clear, but you're right, he says it. Is the main source from the Holy Israel thing or that's just one of the outcomes of it? It's an outcome. It's an outcome, right? Um... <clears throat> I mean, no, no, I mean, I think his original truth was about it, but it's not like, you know, that, that wasn't like the only thing about it. Okay. <coughs> but you're right. But standardly, but standard, now, the fact that it's me did neder doesn't mean it's neder daraisa, right? It could be a neder dara, but, <laughs> but you're right. <coughs> you're right that so, minog is probably based on neder. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And therefore, and therefore, if you want to be over on a minog, what do you do? Mother Nether. Mother Nether, which is what I gave you in source 2. Shulchan Aruch says, in cases where it is mutter to get out of a minhag, the way you do it is through Mother Nether. There's a big machlokas haposkim. Whether you're allowed to do that to a minhag hamakom or minhag eda, or whether only a personal minhag can be uprooted. A personal minhag can vada be uprooted through, through hataras nedarim. Does it apply to minhag eda, minhag hamakom, things like that? That's a big machlokas. Right? That's a big machlokas. You seem to have taken for granted that it is a nether at this point. What? We seem to be... Yes, no, no, no. The assumption is in there, whether it's Daraisa or it's Baliachal Darabanan... Oh, that's what we're fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meaning, the fact that... Is it really a Nedder? That's the question. It's, well, it's Nedder-esque. Really, the question is, is it Mamish a Nedder and really Daraisa, Daraisa, and therefore every violation of a Minog... Yeah, Shulchan Aruch seems to say that it comes from Nedder. Yeah, but it's but, really Darabanan. It's not like sort of Nedder. It's really a Darabanan. No, no, like Baliachal Darabanan. Right, like yeah, Nedder Darabanan. Is, is this talking about a personal level or a... Uh, Mm-hmm. Ah, so what is so Shulchan Aruch and Reish Dalid talks about this, right? He says Dvarim Hamutarim, right? So he says this is what he says. He says Dvarim Hamutarim by you do by you do him by him she mutarim naagim by by him iser had a kiilu kiblo aleim benedir v'aser latirim lohem, right? Something which people know is mutter, right? So this is the classic neder. Oh, sorry, the classic minak, right? Something that you know is mutter, but you treat it as aser anyways, right? Again, not but that's a minak. Right? It's not something you're saying is halacha. You're saying it's a minog. But you treat it as aser. It's as if, right? Ki'ilu kiblo le'em b'neder. It's, it's neder-esque. Right? Again, Reb Chassam Sofer thinks it's mamish bali achel daraisa. But Shulchan Aruch says neder-esque. Um, so you can't be matir it. Not matir neder. You can't just tell people it's mutter. That, that, be careful there. Uh-huh. Right? Not you can't be matir neder. is you can't tell them it's mutter. Right? You can't just say, ah, it's not a big deal. It's a minog. Right? If when you practiced it, you had in mind to do it forever, and you so then once you did it once, you need hatara. The yiftach becharater shem is chayet shenag kain l'shem neder. Right? You use a petach like you always do in neder. Right? You explain why you wouldn't have kept it forever. Oh, doesn't sound like a stam minhag. What? Something you accepted upon yourself to do, not a minhag amakam. Correct. I said. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you said it's makom. I said no, no, no. Oh, yeah. Sef, Sef Beis, no, Sef Beis is about Rabbim, uh, right? Ask, if it's neder ask, why would you tell someone that it's mutter? And why would if you go to mutter more? Like because no, mutter saying you can do it. Yeah. You well, can't because they now accepted it as usher. Oh, so. So you can't just tell them do it. If I, if someone takes a neder, it's not there. It's usher for me to tell them that it's mutter to do to go you can, neder. Yeah, you can. Yeah, exactly. You can tell them they can be matir. You can't just be matir it, right? Oh. Without hatar I understand, but let's say someone has a regular neder. Like let's say. I have no order to do X. So obviously you can't tell the person break your net there, right? What would this be? Baliachel, Daraisa. But I'm not over Baliachel. What am I over? By telling you? Lefnever. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it's the issue of Lefnever. Yeah. Right, you, you're never allowed to do that. Then why, why um, if I go to the Malcolm and uh, that's not like something, why can't I go against the American Malcolm? Uh, we, not correct, but I can't tell them to be moderate because yeah, that's what they are. Why can't you even go against their makom in the middle? And, and, and why can't I go against their in the makom? It says makhlukas. Makhlukas. If so that's no, 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 I can't. Two reasons, right? I have to, I have to keep chumra, right? And I shouldn't make, be conspicuous even when I'm keeping my chumra, right? Two keep things. From correct. And that's a derabana, presumably. Correct. So I guess like dark like shalom. Yeah, presumably. Yeah. Um, okay. And therefore he says, Lafircha wrote a linog biktas dvar mutarim, lesiagu precious. If you want to right, do things which are, you know, keep things which are mutar, but do them, make them usher, um, for, you know, to be a big tzaddik. Yomar betchilas hanagal shen mekabal of kein neder. The best idea is to say, right, you're not going to do it as a neder, right? That's what we, that's what we do. Okay, and then he goes on to all the, the details of this. 
And it's if Bayes, oh, he the notes... Second sheet, uh, what? The, the second sheet he brings down is the lost runner. Falls that you, you can never be... If you know that it's mutter and you still take it upon yourself, you can never be mutter. <coughs> yeah, so, right, so, 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 right, the Yesh Mishomer, if you go down, right, he says, Yesh Mishomer, Shem Toev and Og, Yisra Bedavar Hamutter, Nishom Matirim Lovish Losha Keenian Hatars Nadarim. Vim Yodea Shum Mutter, Vinog Lois, if you know it's Mutter, and Matirim Law Fuel Keen Hatars Nadarim, Devi Kil Kil Osmo, Kisur Mishasar and Torah, Shinlam Heter La Olam, Vamina Kisfar Rishona. Right, he says, some people say that if you take on a Minog, Right, that you are in a ala- yes, yes, exactly. That some people say that if you accept a minog like that, you can never be mocked to it. And he said the minog is going to make on minogim. Okay, fine. Is that the, is that the parentheses of Rama or just somebody? Um, is it you? No, it's not me. It's not me. Uh, is it Shulchan Aruch or I don't want to say it without being sure. Um, Mm. What's generally the rule with uh, Yeshmi? You, you can get a Shulchan Aruch and check what it, what it is. What? What's generally with uh, Yeshmi? Yeah. Uh, it depends. Stam Yeshmi. Well, Stam Yeshmi, right? Usually it's the first one. Some. Right, it's the first one you pass in like, right? Because it's the halach. Well, no, it depends. Uh, the people who write rules in Shulchan Aruch, they're very complicated. It's not clear that there is such a rule, right? <laughs> right? Meaning it's not clear that, it's, that it follows it all the time. Right, because there is sometimes where it's yesh and yesh, and sometimes where it's the first is stam and second is yesh. Right, if the first is stam, the second is yesh, then they say go with the stam. Right, if it's yesh and yesh, so then I think some people say it's the second, some say it's the first. Ravaj is a whole thing of like what people say. I forget which one it is. Stam yesh stam. Stam yesh stam. Whatever. It is. Um, but Shulcharuch notes that this doesn't just apply to personal ones; it also applies to kabbalas harabim. Right, Kabbal, right, so it's, a, it's an outgrowth. Kabbalah Zarabim, Chalo Aleihem, Bi'al Zaram. Vafil Udvarm Shalom, Kiblo Aleihem, Bina Ir Bahaskama, El Shinogan, again, Mazam Lasus, Gedder, Shagla Torah. Right, even if they didn't have a formal acceptance, but that's what they do. So then, um, that's the, right, it's the same, uh, it's the same thing. Um, so the Zara, even let's say the Zara moves to a new community. Correct. So. <coughs> so that's not so that's not clear, right? Shulchan Aruch says it's the zaram, meaning presumably while they're in the city. If they move, not pasha, right? If they move, that's not pasha. Um, What's the zara? Like they children, the children, the children, the children. Uh, this is not right, right Kalek. It was Rashi Dalit. Is it not within Rashi Dalit? That's after Kofi Beis. Beis. Um, okay. That's good. He said Whatever. Okay. But anyways, minog number one, right? So, so just to summarize, minog number one is what? Minog number one is basically things which are really mutter, but people have a minog to be oser, either individually, right? But what we're really talking about is minog amakom, right? Classic minog amakom. Those minogam are binding while you live in the place. Right. They disappear if you move to a new place. You have to keep them if you're visiting another place if you haven't yet decided that you've moved. But they basically have the status of ned. They're probably the Rabbanan, some sort of things, Daraisa. And therefore, they're subject to Hatara. The post can debate whether this is really true, whether it's you, the Hatara rules of personal ned there also apply to communal ones, or those aren't subject to Hatara um, because they're like super ned there's. Would the or something like that. As a whole, have to do a hatara, or just an individual. Could well, no, the seabird well, maybe could do it, but That's whether an individual could be mocked and get out of it. Because as soon as, right. as soon as you get out of it, you're back. You found it, Rishi Dalit. Why are you in Rishi Aleph? Rishi Dalit is where, after Rishi Aleph. Where did you say it on the top? I was looking for that. that. What simon is this up to? Oh, I got it this time. Rish Chaf. Yeah, isn't that Rish Bet? Is it? Uh, yes. I know. Uh, <laughs> Ellie. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> First I thought it was Kofi and then I thought Rish I'm giving up. Clearly God doesn't care if we know or not. Um, <laughs> fine. <laughs> now, in Psak, now, as important as what I just read is in Psak, in Psak there's a much more important type of minak. Uh, if I dare say more important. Okay, if I dare say more important. Um, <coughs> what? Minak Yisrael. Oh, so Minak Yisrael for sure. Okay. Minak Yisrael for sure, but that's not what I mean. Because so, category one of Minak, Minak Amakom, that's what people classically think of when they think Minak. Right? Like Minhagim. Right? Things that, their sources in Minhag. 
But in halacha, sometimes we don't mean minhag, which is sourced in minhag. What do we mean? Yeah, we mean a minhag to pask in a certain way. Right? Not kovei halacha. I don't mean like that. A minhag to paskin like a certain shita. Right? Like rather the, the, the chicken being... Uh, Correct. Now, I'll run through this very quickly. Basically, <laughs> right? Now, what is this? Where does this tower come text. from? What? As in little text over here. Is this the Ramah, probably? Yeah, it's probably the Ramah. It's Ramah? Probably. It's in the... Little text is in front. Oh. Okay. It doesn't say it is. <coughs> Who knows it <where? laughs> <coughs> Little text. Textual boss point. About. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. So what, what, what is this type? So this is what I call Mina Kimar Dasra. Right? What do I mean? So very quickly, okay? The Gemara has a notion of Mar Dasra. What's Mar Dasra? Master of the place. Master of the place. Yes. It's, yes. Master of the, of the place. It sounds like a song from Lingus. Great. Um, that's Master of the House. If you're, you, you're barbarian. You're barbarian. Seriously. Seriously. Honestly. Okay. Um... um <laughs> Um, I only I mean that only half facetiously. Um, <coughs> Thank you. Facetious. Sarcastic. Sarcastic. Oh God. Okay. Well, wait, I didn't hear I didn't hear who you quoted, so I might actually know. Blame is. Lame is. Lame is. Wow. You haven't even heard of it. Okay. No. My my old mom is being crazy. Okay, Mati, you are mommish so fum. I am so impressed with you. It was like one of the most famous plays ever. It's based on a book, but. Anyways. I'm glad you've heard of Shakespeare. <laughs> I don't know if you've read Shakespeare, but I'm glad you've heard of Shakespeare. <laughs> okay, good for you. Okay. Anyways. Okay. Mardasra. Mardasra. So, guys. So, guys. That is the Jewish one. Okay. So, Mardasra. What is it? Very quickly, tell me what Mardasra is and what the source in the Gemara, Mati. Uh, Mar Dasra is uh, what is the rabbi of the city? So like, yes, I it's the posting of the place. Yeah, I don't know what the source of the thing. I'm thinking of Jeremy Kiva with the uh, good. So the, the the source in the Gemara, which appears in Shabbos and appears in Chulin, um, which is probably where you saw it most recently because you're doing kasha stuff. So you're doing kalabasar. Well, I saw it. Isn't like a few dollars or Yeah, it's in it's in yeah it's in kalabasar, right? I did, I did it two years ago. In the rest of okay. Um, so the the Gemara says. The Gemara basically celebrates this notion of Mar Asra. That if you have a local posek, he is your posek. Um, and that means that you're obligated to listen to him to Chumrah. But even more Mechudash, the Gemara says, you're allowed to rely on him. Lukula, and the Gemara downright celebrates this. Right, the Gemara says, right, Rabbi Lazar, this is the Mishnah first. Rabbi Lazar, Omer, Mlohevi, Klimer, Shabbos, Mevio, Bishabbos, Megule, Uvisakana, Mechasel, Pi, Edim. So the, the context of the Gemara is what happens if there's a Mila on Shabbos. You're supposed to bring all the preparatory stuff, right? You can be Mechal Shabbos for Mila, but what about the preparatory stuff? So Rabbi Lazar says, no problem, even the prep stuff you're allowed to bring on Shabbos. You can carry Rishus Harabim. But also, talk about the Sel and Bisham and not marrying each other because of the different mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a different so, yeah. No. Well, they did, That's a didn't again. they Dafka marry each other? They started, I thought. It's a big machlokas, what happened in that story. Yes, they did marry each other, but there's a big machlokas in the Bavli, in the Tosefta, in the Yerushalmi. What does it mean? Right? Does it mean that they marry each other even when they knew it was Asr? Did they marry each other only when they weren't relying on their shitas? Did they not actually rely on their own shitas? Right? Like a whole... But yes, that is related, so yeah. Um, so Rilazar says you're even allowed to do these preparatory things. The old Amir Lazar covers the mates and lasses, common lasses, barzal. You can even right, cut down wood to make charcoal, to forge the instrument on Shabbos. Okay? Klal Amir Vikiva, Komash, Efsher Lassos, Komash, Efsher Lassos, Amir of Shabbos, in a Doha the Shabbos, Efsher Lassos, Amir of Shabbos, Doha the Shabbos. And Rikiva says, uh, no. Right? You can only do things that you couldn't have done before Shabbos. Okay? Wait, uh, you mean you could for. The idea is that you, you could forge on you could, Shabbat? Correct. To make a Kli, to and give a bris milah on Shabbos. To give a bris milah? Yes, because that's Docha Shabbos. So Rilazar said, because you're allowed to do a bris on Shabbos, bismano, so whenever you're allowed to do the bris, you can also violate other malacho to prepare for doing the bris. What? In order to do the bris. Correct. And Rabbi Kiva says, no, you can do the bris itself on Shabbos, but anything that you can't do, or anything you could have done before, you have to do before. 
Right, that's Allah. Huh? What do you need a cleave for? A knife? A knife to cut oh, them? Oh, I think cleave like as a vessel. Cleave is any vessel. Any cable. Any, any vessel. Any, any utensil. So, anything. Yeah, vessel doesn't necessarily mean like it holds liquid. It's, that, it's like We're talking, an instrument. Let's make it easy. We're talking about the knife. Ah, okay. okay? Fine. So the Gemara then says, Taner Rabbanan. This wasn't theoretical. They did it. Right, where Eliezer lived, they used to do this. As Mati said, Rabbi Yossi held that meat and milk doesn't apply to birds, and therefore he used to have chicken burgers. It's fine, chicken cheeseburgers. It was fine. Right? And that was what they did. Levi Ikla be Yosef Rishba Krivila Resha de Tavza Bachalba and once Levi went to the house of Yosef Rishba and they gave him such a dish. Lo Achal, he didn't eat it. He also made the Rebbe, Amarle Amailo Lo Tishmatinhu. When he came to Rebbe, he said, Why didn't you put him in Khairim? Amarle, Asher Rabbi Hudim Besera Hafe. He said it was Rabbi Hudim Besera's place. Vamina Dilma Darish Lok Rabbi Yosef Aglili. It's not Rabbi Yosef Aglili Omer. Nemar Lo Soch Lo Kol Nevei Lav. Amar Lo Savash Lo Gili Bechalei Vimo. Esh Azim Mishum Nevei Lav. Asu Lo Vashal Bechalav. Auf Shehu Azim Mishum Nevei Lav. Yahu Yasser Lo Vashal Bechalav. Tam Lor Bechalei Vimo. Yatsa Auf Shein Lo Chalav Aim. Right. So the Gemara makes a drasha according to Rabbi Yosef Aglili because it, there is no milk. Chickens don't have milk, so therefore there's no iser. And the Gemara later on talks about how. Yeah. <coughs> these people had longevity because of it right and they like miracles happened to them because they were, were followed their Rebbe and all those wonderful things <coughs> what? I was telling Ari before that say, uh, somebody will hold this like a uh, a sheet to, to ask him, like your Rebbe's cool yeah that's, that's exactly what it says oh my gosh I didn't the source now where does it come from this so Gemara it comes from this Gemara now why does he have that power so no Rishon actually explains it that I know of except the Ridva. The Ridva, and this is very rarely quoted, and I don't know why, and every time I tell somebody about this Ridva, like I tell rabbis about this Ridva, and every time they're shocked, and then they quote it in the next year. Right? It's always like, they always like tell me, they're like, I never saw that. I'm like, of course, like, it's, you should know this Ridva. The Ridva says, where does it come from? So the Ridva, in a moment of in- incredible Chiddush, says, Um koma yosin kamoso, l'kayim l'otasrum adavar shagid l'chayim in small. Right? Because of Lotasur. Now that's crazy. Right? Because Lotasur is the Pasuk that binds up to Sanhedrin. Bikoshi, the Rambam thinks, based on the Gemara and Shabbos, that it's what binds us to Chazal. The Ramban rejects even that. Right? Yes, but the Ridva says it relies to your local rabbi forever. Right? Like your local Posig. Is under Lotasur. I mean, I, I right? Shafil is shown small, the Kibu Scharaz, and they got rewarded. The Koshing and Misharmili, the Rabban and Shemakhaim and Notobus Kharaz, for sure anything else. Right? We're talking, right? He, he's not just Smuchin. He's not just Smuchin. He says, your local rabbi, Zo. Right? He says, it was Lotasur. Right? It's not like any accepted body. It's not Chazal. It's one person who went against everybody else. I didn't say it wasn't difficult. It's still the Ritva. It was a moment of incredible Chiddush. It was a moment of incredible Chiddush. Good. <coughs> I don't know if anyone agrees with the Ritva, but the Ritva has a particularly strong formulation. Now that's very nice. However, Luchensin likes pointing out that the Rajba takes this Gemara. The holds, sorry, the Ritva holds that this Lantasar is, is a Durbanan. So it can't, can't mean it as like a real one. Because he says Kol Shikain Bisharmil and Durabanan Shemakam and that's the star. So I think he no, I think he means in Kol Shikain real Durabanans. So this must right? not be a Duraisa. No, it is a Duraisa. So this is a Duraisa. No, no, because all Durabanans like the Rambam are based on Lotasser, oh. and he's saying, and even what your local so he's Rabbi Paskins, right? He says Chanukah. for sure, yeah, he's saying for sure Hanukkah, which is from Chazal. Right, right. But, but even your local Rabbi gives you a psak Lotasser and Adavar Shegil Chayim as well. Right? It's, a, it's an incredible ritva. I don't know what kind of Lotasser because Lotasser says it's Asr and you eat it and you're over Lotasser. You, you don't you don't question them. You follow their psak. Right. right? If, if, if you just didn't eat uh, Basar Oaf the father, let's you didn't eat it. Incorrect. So the Ritva... So, okay. Very quickly. Um, I say that a lot, but I'll, I'll try to make it actually quick. Um, you'll get to this. Maybe. I'm a desert of Zion. Right. Um, <laughs> what? If you're lucky. But you're starting in Chavah, so I don't know if you ever get back to Zion. Fine. Um, so the Gemara on Zion talks about um, that once you get a Shaila, once you get a Psak, right, you can't Chacham Echachasar, you can't then get a Psak from somebody else. And the big Machlok is we showing them why that's true. Why is it that once you ask a Shaila, it's binding? The Ridva has a Shita, 
And the Radva is the Shita, so all of Rashas. Right? The Radva is a Shita that the reason this is true is Shavi Echatiha de Isura. Okay? That once someone paskins, he creates Isur. Right? Not Shavi Anafshe, but Shavi Echatiha de Isura. Right? When you ask a Psak and the Rav says it's Usur, it now is Usur. Right? For you, it is Usur. How so can you do that? It's in the Gavar or It's in the Chefza. Why is it in the Chefza? How do I know? No, but it's not Usur for someone else if you ask. It doesn't matter. If you ask the same question, uh, it's tell way. me, Ritva Lashitasa, why are you allowed to create the Chefza? You need three Ritvas. One in. There's three. This one, this one and two others. One on the Vodazara. Yes, and the third one. Sanhedrin. No, the sugya that Mati mentioned before in Erevin, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? Because the Ritva in Erevin says, "What does Elu Elu Diver Lokim Chayim mean?" They're both halachically that there's more than one theoretical possibility, even in God's court. Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, God imbued the system with multiple possibilities, which means, according to the Ritva, there are multiple possibilities in this inherent in this piece of meat. It's either treif or kosher. Mm-hmm. Or both. Rhythm. And then the Ritva says, "Right, just follow the Ritva's logic." And therefore, what? If when you ask a shaila, what happens? And they paskin shavi uh, chatecha the yisura. They, 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 right? The potential is recognized. And where do they get the power to do that? It's always there. But then there's a machlokas because in the amud hayamini, which is the chuvos of Rishon Yisraeli, Rishon Yisraeli in Simen Vav says, yeah, but like Ariel. He can't mean that Lakula, right? You can create halachic reality, Chumrah, but like Lakula, what you you make something impervious from becoming Asur by Paskening, is that possible? And the Henkin responds in Bnei Banim, Chela Gimel, Chuvah Ches, and he says, uh, yes, look at the Ritva. The Ritva says explicitly that it's Bain Lachumrah, Bain Lakula, right? That it creates Heter. Yes, it creates Heter. What that means, I don't know. Nope. Stop. Nope. Chacham echa chasar. Chacham echa etir. Zeu. Wow. Right. And how's it go? The first guy you ask, all of a sudden, it yep. happens for you. Yep. What if I ask one guy to schmooze at me, then I want to? No, no. So you have to ask at the shaila. The kavia said the shaila passed before. Kavia. <coughs> no. If you ask a shaila, once you've asked a shaila, that's it. It's asked like, what do you think? You no, no. You actually have to ask. What counts as a psak is a complicated sugya. Bab vaser daf kaflamen. Hurry up, step eight. You can ask Ephraim. Uh, so I'm learning it. with Ephraim and Hurios. So if it's a, oh, I'm learning first. Well, first Amud. Yeah, I'm learning right? first. There you go. I Good. It, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Close parentheses. First so now, wait, wait, wait. The Rajba, the Rajba in a celebrated tshuva, and Chelik Alef Tshuva Rishon and Gimel, takes this model. Right. It's a very famous tshuva, Rajba, but I try not to use the word famous. Right. Right. So no, because it's insulting. Right? Someone once said to me, famous usually means either I just heard it in a shear, right? Or I know it and you don't. Right? That's usually what famous means. Right? Right? So celebrated, meaning the people who know it really appreciate it. I'm not saying it's famous. It is famous, but I'm not going to say that. Right? So I try to avoid famous. Um, so the Rajba says, what does the Rajba say since it's so famous, Ariel? The Rajba says that there is something which is almost equivalent to Marda Asra. And that is... Marda Asra. God almighty. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Look at toward four lines from the bottom of Source 5, after the ellipsis. First he quotes the whole Gemara that we just read. Okay, I'm not going to reread it. But he quotes our Gemara. Mm-hmm. Right? The Gemara of Marda Asra. And he says, Umina derech hazeh Said, based on the model of Maradasa, there are communities that have expanded this oh, like and have accepted the riff as the Rebbe, the Rambam as the Rebbe, the Rebbe is the Rebbe, right? Shokhan Kharav is their posing, whatever. Correct. And what is he machadesh? The Rajbas machadesh that what's true of Marida Asra can become true of virtual Marida Asra. Right? The historical <laughs> postkim that we take as our <coughs> as our postkim. He now he, he qualifies this. He says, Says 
than if there's a posseg there, like an actual rabbi, and he disagrees, he's allowed to do that. Because the Ramam isn't really their Mardasra. The Rif really isn't their Mardasra, he's just Ki'ilu. Um, the Mardasra the Mamakum Rabbam Ilu Yasser Shlok is Barav Yekelu Bechod Rabbam Bim When was the Rajma? Rajma is 13th century. I know, but I want to know if it was yeah. foreign, foreign. He's 13th, 13th, yeah. I mean, like 1200s, right? That's all nice. So the, so the Rajma is Mechadesh, that there's a, a quasi Mardasra category, namely, right, we accept the Rambam, we accept the Rif. Now this becomes the precedent in turn. What? It's so cool that that was such like a common thing. Oh, it's amazing. But w- so wait. Then this becomes the model for what? Chabad. Before Chabad. Shulchan Aruch and Ramah. Right? If you look at, you look at the Urim Vitumim, right? You notice in Ibshitz, he says, look at the bolded part. Vikimu vikiblu chachmei hador lishmor vilasos kechol haomer b'metbea katar shulchan Aruch and Ramah. Right? We, where's Kimu vikiblu from? Megillah. Megillah, which Gemara darshans as... They the accept the and they, they accepted the Torah. Kiblu Masha Kimu Masha Kiblu Kfar. That they reaccepted the Torah. He's saying it was Kilu Kabul Sa Torah. That they came and said, Machabi Rama. Right? That's our post game. Ulidaiti Ain Safeki Hakol Biksav Miyar Hashem his skill. Right? Wait, who's the Urban Tumor? He was a Riyakman in book of Yes. Uh, really the other way around but yes <laughs> yes um Hiskel Ayadam ki kushes rabos yikshar alem achronim v'tertu b'der charif amok because any kasha that they asked on the Shulchan Aruch Rama you can brilliantly answer right the minag olam is that Svarim and Paskin like Chaber Shkaz and Paskin like Vechama and that was it and Chabad Paskin's like Shulchan Aruch Haraf okay and the Rebbe fine like the Rebbe's and you know and 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 Granex Paskin like the Gra and the <laughs> well, exactly. Fine. Um, <laughs> now, I should note that the problem. I just I just finished writing this up as an article for my next installment to the TBM, right? Is that the problem is, right? Rulochlinstein takes this and he says, once you have this model, so we have a good model for what's happened nowadays. Because, but there's a lot of steps. So let me explain what actually happens. Right? This is what happens. Minagamakom. Then the Rajba does a little mix of Minagamakom with Mardasra, right? And creates virtual Minagamakom, virtual Mardasra to a Makom, right? And says, Teman de Paskam like the Rambam. Right? Magic. Right? He's their Mardasra. Problem. Not problem. What did he do? He expanded the, re- the Rav, but not the Makom. Right? Right? Meaning, be careful. He expanded the Rav, but not the Mako. Rav Lechonsin notes that once you have that, if you want a bit of a precedent from Minagei Da, which is said is not Pashut, right? So Minagei Da is an expansion, not of the Rav, but of the Makom. Right? That Makom can mean not just your current place, but your origin. Now that there's not necessarily precedent for in the Rajba, right? Because when we talk about Ashkenazim and Svaradim, we don't mean like people who are Yotzei Chal, right? Yotzei Ashkenaz. We mean people who are in Ashkenaz, right? <laughs> Whatever country that is. We're talking about right? Hilo that accepted. Yeah, but he's talking about like physical places, not people who have moved from those places. Right? The problem in modern times is that people have all moved. Right? They've all moved. So you gotta, I don't know if it's a camp of the month, it's probably just Mishpacha at that point. Well, yeah, Mishpacha what, is an yeah. attempt to recreate Minagamako in through ethnicity or through identity, right? Which is a jump. Because what happens is we start with Makom, then we move real Makom, real rabbi. Then we go to virtual rabbi or dead rabbi, right? To to re, but in real Makom, and from then we go we eventually get to sort of virtual Makom, right? That's min, the notion of Minagida and Mishpacha, which is like a subset of that. Yes. So Luchonsin said though, but this is the beginning. This is the beginning of what he calls ideological communities, right? Meaning, what is the notion, right? Where does Luchonsin write this? It's a beautiful piece. He, he has a piece. On where its goal is justifying modern orthodoxy, right? And he says, once you say that this is possible, right? This model is possible. He said, well, you can't. You're not going to blame the Ger Chassid who follows the Ger Rebbe, right? You're not going to fo- blame the Chabad who, Chassid who follows the, the Rebbe, right? But you're also not going to blame a modern orthodox person because once you say there's legitimacy, so then if you create an ideological com- community behind. Someone who's raw, 
then that gives you the same defense. And therefore, he says, that's really what happened, is that modern orthodoxy, it wasn't just Ashkenaz Farad, is that modern orthodoxy created an ideological subgroup which took the Rav, in America at least, as their Mora Asra, as their visionary, just like the Datilumi world in Israel took Ruf Kuk as their, quote, so to speak, Mora Asra. Now, remember, it's not Mamish, right? That's Rav, it's Kilu, right? But, he's, he, but, but this is how we ground our, our, our ideology. Do you have to say that... Um you're that that was me. That was, that was me, not him. Oh, okay, fine. Right, I, I, he just takes it as a given and jumps the steps. But uh, right, you're I just noticed that it's not quite so smooth. You have to make a few jumps. Right. I mean, just like in my family, right? So. I mean, you do have to because. I mean, it's a jump. No, it might be a off. legitimate jump. No, but I'm saying further off. Right? I feel like each person, like just in my family, right? So we either accept. <coughs> I mean, like Chabad, or we did it. But like, we happen to be born in a family where we kept it. But what are we supposed to keep if we didn't have that? And then once we get to the end, we're able to decide. We can make a decision which. Oh, so follow. no. So the real hunting notes up. That's a chiddush to say that you can buy in, right? Meaning, I'm right. In other words, what, what would be the other? Let's, let's say, let's say. Um, wherever the muckle, wherever the muckle is. Okay, so let, let, me, let, let me let me sharpen it a little bit more. Yeah. Minag eda people treat as mamish minag muckle, right? Like if I'm an Ashkenazi, I can't break Ashkenazi minhag, okay. right? <laughs> What you're talking about, it feels don't necessarily, right? People, some people try to treat it that way. Other people say, look, I can choose a new path, but I need to choose a path. You can talk to me, I think what? I, I yeah, you're not there, right? But the Rilchim is saying is the Raj will open the door to that, right? Where I'm not saying you have to keep your parents' minute. What Rilchim is saying is that the Raj will open the possibility to define a community on ideological identification. Right? You don't, you're not necessarily mechoyev to what your father did. Is that kind of viewed as the ideological uh, identification is being created by who you choose as your own, as possible? Oh, correct. They're totally de right? right? That's what Rilchenstein's point is. is that the, now, I'm just it's noting... It's not much of an extension from what so the it, is No, it, well, it is, because the Rajba is saying that... I'm, that the Rajba is saying it has the tokef of Minagam Makom, because the Makom decided to follow this psak. Uh, right, and we know that Makom has authority. Rulchamsi notes that it's the beginning of the path, right? right? But it, but it, but it's a jump. But it's the beginning, and it's very important. But from the right? Rajba's perspective, so people say I lived in the Rajba. The Rajba, right? The Rajba is talking about Teman, Temanim in Teman, not like I'm Yotze Chalatza, right? right? Like Teman, would Rajba say I wouldn't be allowed to? Would be my friend or choose to follow the rift? So the rift? not totally clear, right? Because he says he's not Rabba Mamash, right? He says close, right? And that's why their actual rabbi can diverge somewhat. But it creates the beginning of this precedent. Now, why is this important? Right? It's very important. But it's important to realize that sometimes when people say minhag, they don't mean minhag. What do they mean? They mean this. They mean... They, what they mean is not minhag like this is not halachic. They mean we've created a virtual more da'asra ideological community or ethnic community, right, Ashkenaz, Svard, whatever, that follows a tradition of Psaq, right? Those are very different. Because it's one thing to say, uh, that's less clear, you can be Matir, right? Or... Well, or it's less that, clear that that's real. Well, <laughs> in the first place. right? It's less clear that you can be Matir, it's less clear that it's real, right? It's, it depends. <coughs> the post can will buy into this, buy into it hook, line, and sinker. <coughs> yes? I feel like there's no difference in anything. I feel like I am not just suggesting that maybe the like when the Kamara says Minagamaka, that just happens to be the type of format of population groups which keep specific things. But how the Kamara wouldn't care how those population groups are formatted. Correct, but it just happens to be that nowadays we don't format a basic population group no, okay. okay. based on an ideological group. So that's what Rilchensi is arguing, right? And that's basically the argument Ravadia makes when he just jumps to Minageda. Right? But so far, there's two points here, right? First is that the first group of minhagim we're talking about is minag hamakom, of things that are non halachic. The second thing is sometimes when you see the word minhag, people don't mean minhag. They mean a. Yeah, a, it's not minhag. It's, there's a tradition of psak. They just call it minhag. Right? Like when people say, oh, the Ashkenazi minhag is to be makeil in certain things in Bishal Akum and allow, right, turning on the pilot light. They don't mean minhag. They don't mean like. Right, they don't mean minog like. It's a chumah word. No. Right, they, what do they mean? They mean we follow the minog Ashkenazim is to follow is to paskin like the Ramah, 
But they don't mean minag, they mean minag aposkin, right? Following a tradition. But that also gets conflated with minag because it is sort of a minag. And part of that, let's have poskin that, uh, no, it's us, which you the Would they say that part of the ripa you're over low sauce or? Well, potentially, but maybe. But then you, you have to make a lot of extensions. So you have to say, steps, yeah, yeah, yeah. correct, and he says not. You know, you have to assume that it's rabba mamish, whatever. They marked us, right? But the Rajma says it's not you mamish. Rifa, you have to bind it's correct, you'd have to. Find an extension of the Rajma. Correct, correct, correct. Uh, correct. Three steps. correct. You, and you'd have to say, and the Rajma himself says it's not mamish. But my point is that, this, that sometimes minog means, like minog to keep a non halacha, and that's binding midin minog. Sometimes they mean minog about halacha, and those are very different. Right? Those are very different. Um, um, now the Rambam in general, right, says that at least in the case of minog Yisrael, minog Yisrael is from Lotasur. I gave you that in seven. Yes, the Rambam, the end of Hakdama to the, to the, to the Yad, right, says that under Lotasur is one of the things is minog. Right, second line. The is bar mehem amin hagos. Right, the Raj, the Rambam in at least min Yisrael says that minag Yisrael is one of the things is minag. He needs the bait then. That would be the Israel. Right. So there are other. So the Rambam himself doesn't talk about right other types of minagim. You're right. Um, there are shuvah that do explicitly talk about other minagim. I think I put it on here. Let's see where I put it. Mm. Let's see, where did I do it? Mm. Um, I put it somewhere here. I don't know. I have a lot of Makaras here. It's somewhere here. Somewhere here. Um, we'll get to it. Okay. There's a third type. There's a third type, which, just for clarity, Dr. Chaim Salvechik calls not Minog, but no. What's Nohag? Right? Bugs. <laughs> So he just says, look, sometimes people mean minog like no machlokas. Everyone, this is what we hold, right? Like this is the practice we hold. It's not halachic, but it's the minog. Sometimes the mean is minog of psak. Sometimes, what do people say when it's the minog? No. So sometimes, well, I mean, we already said that. He said, sometimes what they mean is pukhazi maya madavar. It's minog kimavar. <coughs> yeah. I mean, sometimes, what do they mean? Right? Sometimes you'll see posts and we'll talk about the minog. What do they mean the minhag? They don't mean minhag. They mean everybody does it, and therefore it must be butter, or it must be usher. Or everyone doesn't do it, so it must be usher. Right? Meaning they mean minhag right? Because let's say, especially the So where does that come from? Look at number eight. Where does this come from? The Gemara in Irvin says, Hilchas Amai, what's the halacha? Amr Lei, puk kazi, mai amad davar. Look and see what people are doing. Right? So what does that mean? That's what he calls nohag. It's not a minhag. Right, it's not like no one's claiming the minhag. What is, what is the Gemara saying? If you want to know what the halacha is, look at what, look what people do, and whatever they do, That's is pastors right? Right? What? Exactly. What the assumption by there must be a little bit different. What? What the assumption there? I'm not sure when they exactly are talking. What the assumption there be that the common practice of people would be what the psachos had? Good. What? Why? So the Gemara seems to imply it's because of nivuah. Um, Number nine. Amr lehen halacha zushamati v'shachachti ella hanach lehen liYisrael mein nevi'im hein b'nei nevi'im hein lemachar misha pascho tle tocho b'tzimro misha pisko gdi tocho ben karnav raw mice and iskar halacha v'amrakach mi kublani mi pishmaya d'avtal right Hillel right this is the story this is the inauguration story the origin story of Hillel right Hillel moves from Bavel to Israel. And what happens? They ask him, what happens on Pesach? Right? How do you bring the knife for the government Pesach? He says, I forgot. And he said, but I have a solution. Let Jews do it. Let Jews do whatever they're going to do. Don't say anything. Whatever they do is right. Because, and the next day, they do it, and he says, oh, Taka, that's what I heard from Shmai and Aftalia. Right? You read the Gemara Kipshuto, and the Gemara is saying, why is it that at any rate we care what people do? Because... It's divinely inspired. Kal Yisrael is holy. Right, that's the simple shot. Right, does, simple shot. It does seem that there's an assumption that uh, when there was a psaka based on the Amr be no egg way, and they forgot the halacha. They forgot the psaka. They forgot the psaka. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Now, where does this come from? So, is it really nevuah? So, <clears throat> I'll tell you. Who thinks it is nevuah? Kevra, who thinks it is nevuah? 
So, who takes this Gemara almost literally? That it's mamish like Nivua? The Rav. The Rav. The Rav. The Rav. The yeah. Yes. Right? The Rav or the Rav? What? The Rav. Like, right? right? Joseph. Joseph B. Salavajic. Right? Because um, if you look at source 11, this is from Nevesh Rav. Um, the, Rav the Rav was asked as follows. This is a crazy case a bit. Um, he has this notion that history paskins al pi hashkacha. What? Yeah. Where does he get? Where does he say that? This was a very controversial case. He said, right, The Rav Paskin, you shouldn't take what's the Dmei Pitsui? Money. <laughs> Reparations from the Nazis. Right? Pitsui and Migermania. Reparations from the Nazis. For two reasons. Ha'achad. Sh'ikablu heimes haragasha sh'ke'ilu ba'ezeh heimeskap from yotim de'chobaz ha'shmasam. One is you're giving them the feeling that it's blood money and now they're, they're yotze zayin. Right? They gave us some money and they're yotze zayin. Right? It's the top of the next page. It's number... I skipped the next source. We'll come back. Um... Abayz Medina din Amalek yeshlam le Germanim. He said, second, they are Amalek. Vasmani lekach mehem shum davar. Vishamati shaachar har. Now, needless to say, Israel did not accept this, and they took the money, right? Shamati shaachar harbe harbe shanim he beer rabbeinu lechad mitalmidav. But I heard that many years later, the Rav told one of his students, sheulai hochicha ha historia sheem dato vidato baze lo hayu nechonot. History has proven that he was wrong. Because the country couldn't have developed without that seed money, so to speak. Um, and he says, um, if you look at the footnote, or at least as Arab Shechter understands him. Uh, he says, God puts in people the power, especially in post Kim, to get it right. Isn't that like Yes, yeah, so it's not. It's not like Lo He like it's not that God. He's saying sometimes God pushes history in a certain way that post him will come to that decision, yeah. right? They're not like relying on Nebuah. Like, yeah, he says there's a certain hashkacha, the, right? In the, 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 the No, but that's fine. But like the history. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, correct. And they talk about these stories, correct, with the grove of the brick. Let's go on him. Yes, the shul burned down. It was a riot from Shamayim. Uh, what does it mean, Lobo Shamayim? I don't know. Right? Yeah, no, in a chanami. No, in a chanami. Okay. Okay, Hebra, let's, let's continue here a little bit. Now, there are other possibilities, right? If you, want, if you want a more rational possibility, right? The Rav here takes a bit more of a mystical approach. The Rajba has this more simple one, right? The Rajba, in 10, I give you a piece of an article by Rabbi Baruch Afrati, where he summarizes it, and he says, the Rajba is a simpler one, which is, Shalom Micha Adam Badavar. No, it's, it's not Hashkacha. It's what? It's if everyone's been doing it, that's probably because no one ever said anything. If no one ever said it, that's because there were post in the past who thought it was fine. It's just a raya. Yeah, it's Ki'ilu and Misora. Um, right, and therefore he says, if you look four lines down, he says, saying the Rajma is essentially saying that what is Minag or what is Nohag, right? What is what do people's practice prove? Yeah, meaning it's it's a stand-in for precedent, right? Remember we said they work off each other. He's saying it's proof that there's precedent you know about. Right, that's really what it is. Or these right? Or yeah, but he said... Okay. Right, but that's what he said. No, but he says... Davar is not. But you, you'd say... Uh, let's say the um, is no to And then he says the rush... What? Well, let's say the whole is no to one sheet. Theoretically, like, the Grok could come and say... Okay, correct, correct, correct. It's true, you're right in the sky. Correct. But if you look, the rush is even more explicit. Just, you know, follow him along here. He says the rush says even more explicitly... Holech achar minag, the yesh litlot shen nir el gdolim shen higwa minag shalacha came. It must be they saw gdolim who did it. Right, meaning they're relying on precedent. The Russians in this with uh, right? He's an Ashkenazi, right? <laughs> yes. Um, and then what? It's like it's like Pasha. It's like Pasha. <laughs> no, I'm saying like that's just. Of course, he's going to say that. Pasha. Marikolon, Marik. 
says says it even right even stronger because he loves this stuff and he writes right just keep following these quotes he says the ich itachen min ha kavua she po bo taut la asot keneged kol chach mayador he said it can't be well it can't be that a minag would emerge it can't be never happened um, it, it, it can't be that it would happen um, so he but so, so he says he does at some level. No, so they're all taking just the okay sh- the guys guys we gotta be a bit quieter because the shifts are here. Um, now through Shalmi's formulation, guys 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 guys. Yushalmi's formulation formulation is Kol Malkom Shalacha Rufefes Biadcha Lechacha Merag. Yushalmi sounds a little bit different, which is if it's Rufefes, right? Meaning if you don't know what the Lacha is, look at the Merag. Right? If you know that it's wrong, right? That's another thing. But at least where there's a suffix. Um, now. Um, Okay, you know what? Can we can we move upstairs for a minute? Cause I, this is just for the, the um, for like the last twenty minutes or so. But I want to be able to talk because this is is it important? Pause it here for a second. Hmm. I think you're going to hate me, but that's okay. Um, what? Yeah, I think you're going to hate me. Um, Rav Haigon turns your entire worldview upside down, inside out. Fine. If I ask you, what's more important, Minag or Gemara? Gemara. Gemara. Rav Haigon says, Nisht. Not true. Neither one. Why? And this is this is, this is an insane shuvah. The only reason we hold the Gemara is because of Minag. Mm. Really? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Look at Rabbi Gaon. It's quoted in the Tzmim Deim. Who is the Tzmim Deim, by the way? The Riva. The Riva quotes Rabbi. Okay. He writes. Listen to this. This is like this is mind blowing. He says, "Divrei Harabim, he hamochiach al kol Mishnah al kol Gemara." Said the Minog. That's what proves the Mishnah the Gemara. The Yoser mikol Raya. He said, the Gemara is binding because of Minog, so of course Minog is okay, Halacha, because Halacha is only binding, the Gemara is only binding because of Minog, people. Right? He's like, you got it flipped. Right? <laughs> I'll call Mishnah. I'll call Gemara. I said, this is a mind blowing source. He says, the Acharkach. He said, the Acharkach Anuma Bitim Khal Varm Shinebu Big Gemara Inyan Zeh. First look at Minhag. Then look at the Gemara. Because Minhag is Iker, Gemara is Tafel. Right, like Rabbi Gon, you can't get more explicit. He's like, Minhag, King. Gemara, eh. Right? Like, right, it's a derivative. Vim Yeshva, etc. Shlo Yiskavain, Eno, Oker, Esha, Ikar. And he said, why don't you uproot a Minhag because of the Gemara? Because you think you understand the Gemara better. Because it's Tafel to Minog. You'd never uproot Iker. Right? So, Rav Hai is like even stronger, right? See, what do we have so far? We have the Rav, who said, it's like Ke'in Nevoa. You have the Rajba, the Rosh, Maharik, right? Who say, no, it's proof that there was precedent. And Rav Hai goes and says, what do I need that for? Right? The Mishnah and the Gemara are only binding because of Minog. So, if Minog goes against them, so... You can do the Yashiv the Gemara however you want. Figure it out later, right? But the Iker is the Iker is the Iker, right? Minak goes first. Is this right? Torah also just because of Minak? Please follow Torah because of Minak. Korok, 
Yeah. Yeah, 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 right? Um, oh, wait, so why, okay, hold on. Um, wait, so why is Minog binding then? If everything's Torah and Minog, then why is Minog... Right, and then he says, right, that, so Refrati here, po, po, Poskins, uh, notes, uh, sorry, he explains uh, correctly, he says, the Kevin should divide Rav Haigon, the Chuvonim Khalid, the Kola Dvarim should never Gemara. So Rav Haigon says this about everything in Shas. Harisha Insi Balachalik bin Din mit Divraim Shapurisha Shas, Levang Din Shinom and Minatora. It doesn't matter what halacha you're talking about in the Gemara, right? There are on the rice explained in Shas. It really doesn't matter, right? Rav Haigon is pretty clear about Ishida. But this article, I just you know copied it because it had all these quotes and it was easier, right? Um, these are quotes. It's not like right. He's just in the quotations of the originals. Um, Wait, and we follow Minhag because of. Because Minog is right. He's saying that's like Aristotle, right? When do you get back to first, right? Right? You know, Aristotle's thing, right? Is you'll only know what is really important if you don't justify it in terms of something else, right? Right. right? So he just says, yeah, that thing is Minhag. Stop asking, right? What is binding is what people do, right? Everything else is justified in light of it. Was that the same, like you in the that desert, like when uh, when they gave the Torah, when Moses yeah, gave keep, the Torah? yeah. Kimu the Kiblu, right? Or Kimu is a Torah, whatever, Zo, uh-huh. right? It's something like that. You wouldn't say kind of high on that, uh, presumably they, they accept the Duan or some kind of binding sock of Sanhedrin, and they said, if that's only, we only accept that because we're knowing that we treat this in such a way, but, you know, many no, people saying is, is sock, I'm presuming you can still say the authority comes from, based on a God, a whole lot. Uh, from Beznagadol, fine, but everything post Beznagadol, right? He, he's pretty clear. Are there things Machadish post Beznagadol? Right, remember, we already said this, right? That, that, that the, we already said, right? The Kesha Mishnah it thinks, according to the Rambam and right, yeah. Pashtras, that the reason Gemara is binding is because we accepted it. Right? Rav Haigon seems the same thing, the same thing, but he's saying that's why, right? I mean, essentially, in another word, that's called Minag. Right? It's what people do. Right, but you still and have the whole Mishnah. And the Mishnah, right? He's, right, 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 don't try to get out of me. Uh, Mishnah, Mishnah, Tanaim, right? You know, right, includes. Yeah, there are right. I didn't say Rafaigon wasn't radical. I just said right. Sure, that's his question. Right. Okay, um, it, it's quite radical. Maybe he has um, uh, Ace before. Right? <laughs> but I call him Rafaigon. Um, <laughs> now the Maharik. <laughs> oh, the Marik, Gavald. No one knows what you're talking about. Why are you saying this thing? No one knows what you're talking about. It's fine. Um, listen, listen. Okay, guys, 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 guys. Okay, the um, the Marik Cologne says therefore Minag is even Soser Halacha, right? The Marik Cologne says Minag is Soser Halacha. The Rama says that's only if you have at least one shita that you can rely on. Meaning, right? If you see that there is a minority position, but the Minag is like it, so then you follow the Minag. Fine. Fine. Um, the Rush. Right, the last part here says, Right, the Russian, a different Shuvah, says no. Minna gets his power because it keeps you away from Isurim, and therefore, if it's mistaken, it leads you to Isurim, it is Usur. Right, but then he says something shocking, right, because you think he's going to say anything which is Usur. And then he says, no, Bezdin can only uproot the Torah passively but not actively, which implies, right? It sounds very matun. It sounds very low-key, right? Oh, yeah. Minhagim keep you away from Isurim. So if it goes against Halacha, it's, then you don't keep it. And then he says, just like Akira's Minat Torah, the Torah Minat Torah only works passively and not actively. Right. As a man, would be okay. Yes. Right. That's what it sounds like. Any, right. Any man that's just holding you being back from what I say is fine. That's what he says. Right. Be pashto said for him. Right. Mash Rashid is a rush. He should dafka b'kum basay menak batel. Achem yesh menak lo lasos davar menak torah who came nishar shreik dima is erech menak with takanas bezin sheinat tkeifa im himore laval isra ach tkeifa imor lehit lit machek mi isra velo lasato. Um. He said, that's what you would think. Um. That. Except, Ulam Da'aka, Shotzas HaRasha Chadashai, he said, this is where Girsos are, are um, important, because that's only in the old Girsa that he's so radical. He's not really that radical, and he, right? Then you go to the globe, he says, in the new one, it says, Ein Besen Ma Snendaka Dabam Nat Torah, Bafilus and Hedrin Gedola, Hayoshev, Blitz, because it causes Ein Lakoch Lakar Dabam Nat Torah, El Vashay Valtaz, but come Vasay Lo, right? In the. The, the one he doesn't equate it. He says it's just even a couple homer. So even the Sanhedrin. So Minah for sure not. Right? I mean, he's not saying that it can be Okaralach. He's just saying even Sanhedrin can't do it actively. So 
right? So, so, so it could have been a take away my second one of this? So you say maybe, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not so clear. It's like maybe or... Yeah, yeah you're like you don't know. Okay, but, but what do we see from all of this, right? So category three of minhag is no hug, right? Is where we're not talking minhag per se. We're talking about just what people do. Right? As a proof of what the halacha is. Why is it a proof of what the halacha did? So, according to the Rav, history proves. Right? Nevi'im heim. Right? This prophetic hashkacha thing. Right? According to the Rajba, the Rush in some places, it's just a hokacha of precedent. Right? According to Rav Haigon, you don't need to justify it. Minag is the superpower. Minag is the king. Right? It self justifies. You don't right? It's what gives the Gemara its force. It was gives the Mishnah its force. Stop asking me why you keep Minog. Ask me why you keep Gemara. Don't ask me why you keep Minog. Right? But in all these cases, what are we like like I said, what are we really talking about? No. We're talking about Nohag. Right? We're not talking about Minhagim. And we're not even talking about the Minog is to follow like explicit postkin that we know. Right? Like, category two was, we know the Raman Paskins this way, we know the Rush Paskins this way, the Ashkenazim follow the Rush, the Svartan Paskin, like the Rambam. Right? There's no, like, Sveikos. The third category, sometimes people just say, What do people do? That must be right. Now, there's a, yet another possibility, and this is the classic Ashkenazi one. Right? And if you've been doing Avadazara, you know this already. Right? Which is... Um, right? Which is what? <laughs> Another reason to follow Minag is this notion that emerges very heavily in Ashkenaz, um, and it's first quoted in the Aruch, um, in number 12, um, which is this notion that our communities are Kihila Kedosha. Right? Our communities are holy. Right? They are holy. Now, Dr. Chaim Salvechik has an article where he argued, as though he eventually backtracks on this, um, that basically Ashkenazim especially had very high regard for the Balabatim. Um, he gives all types of theories, right? Either because they were really from, or because not only were they really from, but they were willing to martyr themselves. Like, they proved their metal, right? They, they proved that they really cared about halacha. And therefore, they had a conviction that they were holy, and everything they did holy. was right, was justifiable. And the classic example everyone always po- po- points to is the first tos- like the first big Tosas in Avodah Zarah, where... The Mishnah says, I don't have to go back through this. You guys are doing Avodah Zarah, right? But the Mishnah says, fine. Yeah. I'll quickly. The first Mishnah of Avodah Zarah says, don't do business with non-Jews three days before their holidays and their holiday. Okay? And then Shmuel says, in Galos, at least do, don't do it on the holiday itself. The Bayatos would look around and say, uh, that's very nice, but we all do business. We all go to the mall on Sunday, right? It's, right, Azoy Pashut. Right? And Tosavos then gives uh, eight different reasons. And different Baal would give more reasons as to why it's mutter. Right? So either which is in the Ravya, and Artos has said, well, they're not really over the Abu Dazara, and maybe it's only us if you're giving if you're actually selling things that are used for idol worship, and maybe the saint holidays are not really holidays at all, and maybe they're not really you know, maybe the Easter are more only the Shiva Amamin, which is what Rikhil of Paris says. Um, all types of radical, right, different things. They just go and defend and defend and defend and defend and defend and defend. Right? Now, so this is like the fourth model, which is to say, like, people are from. If they're from, they're probably from. Right? They're probably right. Um, the caveat is, and this is something that Gil's student um, documented very nicely, um, right, Gil's student, is that and if you trace Chaim Salvechik's writings, you'll see that he backtracks on this. Because in his earlier works, he says, Ashkenazim always defend Mena. Kila Kedosha, they love, Ash- they love their community. Everything they did is right. I mean, it's not true. right? It's not always true. Because the same Rishonim who will defend their community, Ad HaSof, look at 14. Right? Um, um, the Rush, and this appears in Tosfos also, um, he's talking about a certain minhagim uh, in terms of building walls by Ishchenim. It's not really important what, what exactly it is. Um, but you look at Rabbi Tam. He says, Hiksha, uh, the, the Gemara's line is that Kolka Minhagim Medina. Right? So Hiksha Arash, my Baila Suye, the Gemara had said, well, you know, let's go back to the, to the, to the whole thing. Hakolka Minhagim Medina, Hakolka Suye, my Baila Suye, Asr, the Nehigi, Behutz, Vedafna. The Gemara says, you're allowed to build a wall. However people do it. And the Gemara says, what is whatever people do? Even this, like, flimsy little wall. So Rabbeinu Tom says, I don't, I don't understand. Why don't you just say, Hakol Kamenaga Medina, means Hakol Kamenaga Medina. Right? Like, 
whatever the minhag is. If the minhag is not to build a wall at all, so then don't build a wall at all, right? Why does it say, what is any wall in the world? Uh, this thin wall made of reeds, right? So Rabbeinu Tam says, Hikshu Rabbeinu Tam, Maibar la sui, lema sui, kolme kolme sui, mashanagu. Just say, do what the minhag is. So he says, Perish, Jaz la shmina, didafka hutsa vidafna. The ktas chashavu. So Rabbeinu Tam said, it's not true. It's only a thin wall. If they do less, avol him nohagu bepachos, minak shtosu. Beloved demon lay. Right? So even though it's true that usually we defend minhag, and this is important. Sometimes the same super defenders of Minag, like Rabbeinu Tam, will just look at a Minag and say, "Dumb." Did you do that right? by Tzniyas also? Well, Did you do that by There's a lot of cases, right? Because I've seen like this last <coughs> <coughs> comes up a lot. People like Minag just. The Ram of loves Minag just. But um, um, but this is kind of different because this has nothing to do with the law. This is talking about normative. I uh, 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 So you'll tell me, okay, that's a big deal, a little monetary thing. They would never. Right, so Chaim Salvatric at some point says, oh, maybe, right, because he had to backtrack, right, because how can he say, right, that they always defend Minak? He doesn't always defend Minak. So he said, okay, maybe they defend Minak, defend Minak if, there's, if there's high stakes in the game. But if it's like low stakes or it's like monetary, okay, not, so big, not such a big deal. Okay, great. If I told you, um, and, and maybe I'll just say this is, you know, monetary, whatever. Um, if I asked you, what is the number one thing <coughs> that you would not ever want to challenge Minhag on? What is the biggest stakes, highest stakes? Killing somebody. What okay, the, there's not a Minhag of killing sorry. people. But realistically. Uh, no, bigger. Peace. No, bigger. What? Marriages. Marriages. Or Gittin, specifically. Divorces. Mm-hmm. Right? Because what happens if, you're, if you say that there's a Minhag? Mamzerim. Right? And that is forever. All right? I don't mean like spiritually, like being Mechal Shabbos, which is worse. I mean, like, in general, highest stakes are getting. <coughs> in general, right, Rabbeinu Tam, there's a cherem Rabbeinu Tam, right? You don't challenge people's getting. And yet, right, and yet, um, Rabbeinu Tam challenges them. What? The Balkans has challenged them enough. Yeah. So if you look at the Shudmar Shach in 16, he says, Rocham ain't lasos shum davar begitin lahachmei. Ratzalom or davar laz al gitin rishonim. Right. Normally we say, right, never talk badly about gitin. The heavy bishulte gibor malagos mordechai chuvel Rabbeinu Tam zal heish Rabbeinu Tam la Ravram and Yosef Merlins. Yes, Orleans. That's how you pronounce that, right? I've heard people oh, pronounce it all types of weird ways. Orleans or Orleon, right? Whatever. It's like New Orleans. Yes, to the old one. Yes, the old one, exactly. <laughs> right, but but you'll see here. We all they'll they'll like read it. Reb Yosef of Orleans, or I'm like or, Orleanish. I'm like I don't understand. Like you're American. Orleans. It's not like or French. It'll be Orleon. Fine, but like Orleans. Whatever. Is it Al Asher Kasaft Al Tofes I get Shenichtav Al P. So someone asked Rabbeinu Tam, he said, okay, so why are you, pa- why are you suddenly passing some chum like Gittin? You're the one who says you shouldn't be moti laws in people's Gittins. Hello, Zed, Divrei, Shat, Tatov, Pitaron, Vachulei. Uma, Shedachisem, Rayasi, Torah, Shlema, Jicho, Betela, Vigam, Gazav, Jin, Lashon, Zam, Minag, right? That's really the important part. And he says, and then you said to me, right, don't change the Minag. Vipnei halaz, Minog ze Gehenim Lamafreya. So, yeah, it's very nice. Right? Right. Minog is held backwards. Right? Imshotim Nagu, Chacham Lo Nagu. So, so there were idiots who did it. Great. Smart people never did. I don't care. Right? I don't care. Right? Vafilu Minog Hagog ain't Oker Halacha. And even a real Minog won't be Oker Halacha. Val Tozev Od Ladamos Dimyonos Gela. Stop imagining things. Right? Stop making these stupid comparisons. I don't want, I don't want to hear it. Right? So, um, this is the same Rabbi Tom that says, don't be Moti Laz on Gittin. Right? Um, <coughs> so and therefore the Marshach says the conclusion is right. Right. This is not always true. There's a lot of conditions to this. The It has to be a good minag based on bikiim. Maybe this one was a bad minag. It wasn't alpi bikiim. Um. Yeah. What are bikiim? Um. What? 
Uh, experts, experts. Um, and in 17, Rabbi Tom took a different minog, and just look at the end of it, right? He says, Right? It was a different minog, and he says, anyone who does that is feeding treif to Jews, right? Like, so, we've seen there are three models of minog, okay? The first is what is minhag in the sense that we normally mean it. Like, practices that are non-halachic, that are custom-based. The classic one, minhag amako. There's also personal minhag, and there's minhag Israel, there's maybe minhag Aida, all that. But those, however you want to look at them, and obviously there's a lot to talk about, sometimes minhag just means minhag. Right? That's that whole constellation of minhagim. Right? They're minhag, which are minhag. Group two are not minhag, but a nihug of psak. Right? Traditions of Psak. Right? I'm no Hague to, fo- right? so, to follow the Rambam, to follow Shulchan Aruch. Right? That's a different power. Right? Now, Mitzad Echad, it's more powerful because it's halachic, not non halachic. Right? Like uh, Stam Minhag. Mitzad Sheni, it's also weaker because, as the Rashba notes, it's not real. Right? It's like, it's a rule of thumb. It's not an absolute rule. Right? It's normally we do this. But if you have really good reason, you could go against it. The Plus third... A few stretches in the Makkah. Correct, you have to... I mean, yes. There's stretches. But he's saying even once you extend it, it's not mamish mardasra. Right? But often, and this is why it's important to realize this, when you're reading a tshuva sefer and it says minag x, right, they can mean very different things. Sometimes they mean the minag Avelos of Sviris Omer. Minhag Avelos of Omer. There, the question is a Minhag question. That's also Minhag Yisrael, you'd say, no? Yeah, okay, but even Minhag Yisrael is on the same Retzef. Right? That's a Minhag accepted by Israel, but it's Bitokef Shal Minhag. Right? Mm-hmm. Right? Meaning, yes. Within the Minhag HaMakom thing, there's smaller versions like Minhag Mishpacha, and there's bigger versions called Minhag Yisrael. Right? But all of those are Bitokef Shal Minhag. And obviously, yes, Minag Yisrael has more power than Minag Amakom, and Minag Amakom has more power than Minag Mishpacha, and blah, 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 blah. But fundamentally, we're talking about Minhagim, Minhagim. Sometimes when they talk about Minhag, they don't mean Minhag at all. They mean virtual Marda Asra Minhag. Right? That's what they mean. And sometimes, the Bechal don't mean that either. They mean, this is what people do, and therefore it's probably right. Why is it probably right? Either because God made it right, or because people are from and they get it right, or the fact that people do it proves that some rabbi at some point must have said that it was right, or um, Rav Haigon, don't ask me why it's right. Obviously it's right, Minhagim are right by definition, right? Um, but that has its limits. When the rabbi right? says, like, our Minhag is either not, like, on Rosh Hashanah says, and Rosh says, our Minhag is not to do that. So What Minhag is that usually referencing? Or every time it's different? Exactly, that's my point. Right? When I call this a skira on Minhag, that's what I mean, because the Ramah is going to tell you which one he means. Right? If he's talking Shreza Omer, he means Minhag Minhag. Right? If he's talking Haminag Rishon, right? Whatever, Kisvar Rishona, right? He doesn't mean that. He either means, he either means Noag, that is what the Oilam does, or he means that Poskim follow Baliatosvo, you know, and the, and the Baliatosvo are Mekil, right? Or something like that. Right? It can mean something different every time. Right, right. But generally, I mean, generally, it doesn't seem like um, the Minhagim that the Ramah is quoting. It, those these people don't seem to have picked a Mardasra, a virtual. Well, Mardasra. he does the Balitosra, right, or the Maharil, Marik, right. Meaning the Sifrei Minhag. Like no, not always. But when he says right. Minhag, right, he sometimes means Minhag Minhag, sometimes he means Minhag Aposkim, and sometimes he means Noag, right. Sometimes he means what people do, right. So and how would you search Noag and Minhag Aposkim? Is Noag halach theirs and ehalach theirs? Can be either. I mean, people can. I mean, that's the fun. That's the fun. That's the hard thing to pin down about nohag, right? What people do, because sometimes what people do is minag minag, right? Sometimes what people do is minag aposkim. Sometimes what people do is mochiach. That's the psak, not based on any particular posik at all, right? Right. I mean, it can be any of them. And this is why it's very tricky. But this is my point. Is that it's very tricky because you read psak and it's full of minag, but it means something very different every time you open it up. There are right? rules that you would only go by Minhag if it follows a certain person. That's only if it goes against Halakha. Say again? Well, there must said that you only follow the Minhag if you <coughs> like a Dea. Correct. He's talking about a Minhag that goes against what seems to be Halakha. Correct. Correct. 
Yeah. Now, obviously, now from this skira, or I call it an overview, right? Obviously, every little detail here is a million questions, right? But what I'm pointing out is big gadol when you read psak, right? You know, just like precedent is complicated, who counts, right? Rabim, chacham, it's all the complications, right? Bavli, Rushalmi, million shilas. Minog is the exact same way, right? Yes, minhag is important, but what minhag means and what it means in any given circumstance, mm, right? It's complicated. You got to figure it out, right? Um, and if you see, right, I, I, um, I haven't even finished it. Um, um, wait, so page two. What did I add? Oh, I, I cut and pasted. it. So some of it is actually a uh, repeat. Um, yeah, I mean, look. The second page, maybe we won't go through much, but but I put on this second page some sources on minag mavatal halacha, um, which is you know, um, which is yet another category. Right? The Ushalmi talks about this notion of minag mavat. Okay, very quickly, um, the Gemara talks about the Ushalmi talks about minag mavatal halacha. Um, the Rajba thinks that that is um, by davar shabamamon, right? Because by mamon, right? That's really the, yeah, because hefker bes and hefker. So that's like a fourth area. Right. According to Rajma, Minag Mavadalacha is primarily a monetary issue. Um, the problem is that um, it's probably not true um, because he quotes the Yerushalmi in Baba Metziah that's talking about Dine Mamanos. Um, the Yerushalmi in Yevamos is talking about Chalitza. Um, and he uses the same line, Minag Halacha. Right. And if you want the, the full line, um, just, just to look at it um, quickly. Rabbi Bar, Rabbi Huda, B'shem Rabbi Rav, Im Yavu Eliyahu, V'yom Asher Cholzen B'mimal Shom and Lo. If Eliyahu comes and tells him you do Chalitza with a sandal, we'd listen to him. She'ein Cholzen with a sandal. He says, you're not allowed to. Ain Shom and Lo. Sharei Harav Im Nagu Lachlotz with sandal, because the Minag is, V'aminag Vavat Halacha. And the Minag Aprut Halacha. Right? Rabbi Zayra, Rabbi Yerim, B'shem Rabbi Rav, Im Yavu Eliyahu, V'yom Asher Cholzen B'mimal Shom and Lo. She'ein Cholzen with a sandal, Ain Shom and Lo. Sharav Im Nagu Lachlotz Cholzen with a sandal. The minimavata halacha, right? So, right. The fourth one is minimavata halacha. Now that is somewhat related to what we've seen before, right? But the Yerushalmi is pretty explicit, right? The Rajma thinks that minimavata halacha is limited to dinei mamanos, and that makes sense because hefker bes and hefker. That's not like a big kiddush. Pashas in Yerushalmi is not true. Why the Yerushalmi says that? We have to go back to all the svaras that we said before. Hashkacha. It proves that that's how we paskin. I don't know. Yeah, Rav I don't know. Take take your pick. Um, <coughs> um, um, but, but we also are not going to. Uh, yeah. Okay. We we should we should stop. Um, oh, I, I did put it. It's seven. It's seven is where I put your chasam so fair. So we'll we'll polish off. Next week we'll do is we'll polish off the minag here, um, and then what's fascinating in Dark Yehara is um, he talks about why minhagim are important, like religiously and when we should allow them to fall into disuse, right? Okay?